Sky News Chief Meteorologist Tom Saunders explains why floodwaters in the Hawkesbury Nepean can be so devastating. Most floods in the Hawkesbury Nepean Valley begin with high rainfall during east coast lows. But why are floods here so large and deep and why do the floodwaters take so long to recede? What makes this valley have one of the highest flood dangers in all of Australia? Five major tributaries act like taps, pouring water into the valley during a flood. While every flood is different, the Warragamba River contributes up to 70% of the water in major floods that have happened in the past 60 years. The other tributaries typically make smaller contributions. All this water needs to get to the sea, but natural choke points where the river narrows slows the path in this valley. This is called the bathtub effect, where water backs up and starts filling the floodplain because there's only one plug hole letting the water out. Because water is confined in this small valley at the Wallachia choke point, the worst floods have reached depths of around 20 metres above the normal river level. Further downstream, the floodplain at Penrith and Emu Plains is created by the next choke point because Penrith has naturally high riverbanks which hold the river back. Low-lying areas around Emu Plains and Peachtree Creek are affected first. However, extreme floods in the past have reached as far east as Woodruff Street. Further downstream, the next choke point is caused by a series of gorges starting at Sackville. Because the Windsor-Richmond floodplain is relatively flat and wide, floodwaters spread quickly across a vast area. In the worst flood on record here, the river reached 19 metres above its normal level. Floodwaters back up into the creeks in the valley and flood islands form as floodwaters rise. It's this bathtub effect that makes the floods in the Hawkesbury Nepean so devastating, putting tens of thousands of homes under threat of inundation.